Hi, I'm Bob Lang, Executive Editor of Popular Woodworking Magazine. Today I'm going to be making a green and green style finger joint for a drawer that I'm working on for a project for the August 2010 issue. Here's an example of the joint that I cut earlier today. Some of the features of this joint make it impossible to use a standard finger joint jig to cut it. The fingers are varying in space vertically. They're also flush on one side and then the fingers extend through the front. So that makes it a little trickier. The way I do this is with this jig, which is just two pieces of wood uh, screwed and glued together in an L shape that I've got screwed to the miter gauge. I've run it through the saw blade and that kerf is going to be used to locate my cuts exactly. The other critical measurement is the height of the cut. I'm going to be working on the drawer sides first so I've taken the thickness of the front plus an eighth of an inch and that's where I marked this line. So I just set this up against the blade and adjusted the height so the top of the teeth are right at my line. I've marked out the positions of the fingers on the end of my piece now I cross hatch the areas where I'm going to be removing material. To line up the cut I simply adjust back and forth until the pencil line is right on the edge of the saw curve. And when I have it where I want it, I'll clamp it down to the jig. I'm going to double check the position before I turn on the saw and then I'll just run the pieces through. So after I've got the edge cuts made, I can just waste away the material in between. I've got both of the sides stuck together with a piece of uh, double sided tape and I cut the sides both at one time. Now to transfer the fingers locations to the front. I'm just going to lay that piece on there, mark the positions with my pencil, and then I'll mark the areas to be removed while I'm looking at the side so I don't remove the wrong pieces. I set my adjustable square to the thickness of the side and I'll use that to transfer the measurement onto the front. Now I can use that line to readjust the height of the saw blade. So now I'll take the front over to the jig, line up the saw cut on the proper side of the curve and clamp my piece in place. And now I can cut the drawer front. I spent a couple minutes cleaning up the bottoms of the fingers openings with a float. Now I'm ready to see how they fit together. That's not bad. 